Hey Dr. Law, this is Jonathan Horton, and this is my discussion about mobile analytics uh, per the uh, projects in chapter three, uh, or module three, sorry. Uh, the mobile analytics is really, really fun concept. Well, very fun thing that Instagram and TikTok, that I, I, that's what I covered in my paper, really use to optimize everything they do. Like, it's sometimes super scary. I'll just be talking about something or I'll, I'll look at some something I find really interesting. Like, for some example, like, I'll be talking to my friends about sailing or I'll be looking online about sailing boat or something. And now my entire Instagram feed or TikTok feed is about sailing now. Don't even, like, look it up on that specific platform. And they have just connections that they gather all this data and it gets sent to them. So mobile analytics... Uh, mobile analytics is uh it's just all about getting that raw data collecting that raw data and then processing it to make it you know somewhat usable putting into dashboards and making it so that the companies that market and sell products and stuff like instagram is their whole product is ads they want to make their monies off of ads so they create a platform that we interact with so they use analytics to determine what kind of ads benefit me, what kind of content, so I stay using the apps so I can start seeing their ads. So it's all about keeping me engaged and keeping them funneling ads out and getting money from those. So it's really some mostly mutually beneficial. I mean, I like looking at funny videos and cool stuff and they like making money, so. But yeah, most, most companies these days that use any digital stuff use some sort of, of analytics just to make sure that they're working together with their uh, consumers to make the best pro possible process and make them the most money in turn, right? Because you help the computer uh, consumer, they'll help you.